It's quarterfinal time. We've whittled it down from 16 schools to eight, and one of today's teams will move on to the semifinals in that chance for the $1,000 grand prize. In today's match, we have the Dragons of Brunswick High School. Taking on the Eagles of Wyndham High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show Maine. Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you. Welcome to High School Quiz Show Maine. I'm Todd Guttner. We begin our quarterfinal matches on this episode as we move towards the semifinals. And as usual, they are competing for the $1,000 grand prize for their school's project graduation. The Dragons of Brunswick High School made it here by defeating St. Dominic Academy, and they will take on Eagles of Wyndham, who won their match against North Yarmouth Academy. Let's get things going by meeting the teams for Brunswick. We have Ben, Thomas, Maya, and Nate, with alternates Leo and Alexei, and coaches Emily Field and Ethan Whitlock. And for Wyndham, we have Al, Greta, Caitlin, and Francesca, with alternates Will and Owen, and they're coached by John Ziegler and Nicole Densmore. Now the competition has three rounds, the toss-up round, the category round, and the lightning round. We'll start things with the toss-up round. All answers are worth 10 points, and this is the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. Players must wait for me to complete the question, and if one team answers incorrectly, the other team will be given a chance to answer. Okay, take a deep breath, both teams, and breathe it out. All right, good luck to both of you. Here's the first question. In a 1956 book by Dodie Smith and its many Disney movie adaptations, Pongo was the breed of dog of what? Caitlin Wyndham. The Lady and the Tramp. Uh, nope, that's incorrect. Nate Brunswick. 101 Dalmatians. That is correct. Second question. In 2021, what Central American country became the first in the world to accept Bitcoin as legal tender? Ben Brunswick. Uh, Nicaragua. Uh, incorrect. Wyndham, you want a shot? Go ahead, Greta. Ecuador? Uh, that's incorrect. The answer is El Salvador. El Salvador. Milk, sardines, and broccoli are dietary sources of which mineral that is the most abundant mineral in the human body and is stored mainly in the bones? Greta, Wyndham. Calcium? I'm sorry. It's Caitlin Wyndham. Oh, calcium. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> All right, next question. Believed by many people to be a site that conducts research into UFOs, the U.S. Air Force site at Groom Lake in Nevada is known by what name that includes a number? Francesca Wyndham. Area 51. Area 51 is correct. Okay, up next, we have a picture question. You're going to want to look at the screen over here. Question is, name this Spanish explorer who crossed the Isthmus of Panama in 1513, becoming the first to reach the Pacific Ocean without sailing around the southern tip of South America. Al Wyndham. Columbus. That is incorrect. Brunswick. Cortez. Go ahead, Nate. Uh, no, it's Del Bo Balboa. Balboa. Chattanooga and Memphis are among the most populous cities in which southern U.S. state? Uh, ben Brunswick. Tennessee. Tennessee, yes. A Major League Baseball rule intended to prevent collisions at home plate is informally named for what San Francisco Giants catcher who was severely injured during a home plate collision in 2011? Ben Brunswick. Buster Posey. You nailed it. All right, now on to the next one. In 1960, what six-year-old made civil rights history as one of the first black children to attend an all-white school in New Orleans, helping initiate the desegregation of public schools in that city? Thomas Brunswick. Ruby Bridges. Ruby Bridges, correct. 
The Nobel Peace Prize is presented in Oslo. The rest of the Nobel Prizes are awarded at a banquet in what city that is the capital of Sweden? Uh, Nate Brunswick. Oh, shoot. <laughs> That's not the answer. Uh, Wyndham, you got a shot here. Go ahead, Greta. Stockholm. That is correct, Stockholm. Up next, we have a video question. Please, again, take a look at the monitor here. Hello, my name is Corrine Altham, and I'm the librarian at Frank I. Brown Elementary School in South Portland. First published in 1842, The Mask of the Red Death is a short story by which American writer? Nate Brunswick. Poe. Poe is correct, yes. All right, the 13th original colonies became the first 13 states. Which New England state became number 14 when it joined the Union in 1791? Greta, Wyndham. Vermont. Vermont, yes. What Marvel character, played by Samuel L. Jackson in the movies, is the director of the spy agency called S.H.I.E.L.D.? Thomas Brunswick. Nick Fury. Yes, you got it. Which of these best describes a crepuscular animal active at twilight, feeding on dead animals, or unable to vocalize? Al Wyndham. Feeding on dead animals. That's incorrect. Brunswick. Nate. Unable to vocalize. No, nope, the other one, active at twilight, active at twilight. Math question, get those pencils ready. There are 50 marbles in a bowl. 16 are red, 20 are blue, and 14 are green. If you pick one at random, what's the probability in lowest terms that it is not blue? Uh, Thomas Brunswick. 17 over 25. No, that's incorrect. Wyndham. Uh, just uh, the buzzer beat you, unfortunately. Three fifths or 60%? Was that what you were going to go with, Keith? Mm -hmm. It was? Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. Uh, we'll get them next time. Um, in a novel by Sandra Cisneros, Esperanza and her family live in a house on what street that's mentioned in the title? Ben Brunswick. Mango Street. Mango Street, yes. In the history of aviation, the Montgolfier brothers are best known for developing what type of aircraft? Thomas Brunswick. The hot air balloon. You nailed it. Harry Styles, Billie Eilish, and The Weeknd headlined the 2022 edition of what music and arts festival at the Empire Polo Club in Indio, California? Caitlin Wyndham. Coachella. Coachella, yes. Told you you'd get it. <laughs> the next one. Here's the next question. An ellipse, hyperbola, and parabola are plain sections of what three-dimensional figure? Uh, Caitlin Wyndham. Oh, um, a cone. You got it, a cone. Uh, here's the next question. What's the name for the semi-arid transitional area in Africa that separates the dry Sahara Desert from the tropical savanna? Thomas Brunswick. Sahel. The Sahel, yes. A person is most likely to wear jodhpurs for which of these sports? Gymnastics, horse riding, or lacrosse? Go ahead, Greta. Horse riding? Yes, you got it. In computing, the hypothesis and the conclusion of a conditional statement are expressed by what two words? Francesca Wyndham. If then. Yes, you nailed that one. The first electron, she electron shell around the nucleus of an atom can hold a maximum of how many electrons? Go ahead, Al. Two. Two is right. In the Broadway musical Waitress, the main character is Jenna, a waitress who has a special talent for making what sort of dessert? Francesca, Wyndham. Pies. Pies are correct. Second math question. Here we go. The time zone in Japan is 13 hours ahead of the time zone in Maine. If it's 6 p.m. on Friday in Maine, what's the day and time in Japan? Ben, Brunswick. Uh, 7 a.m. Uh, need more. In Japan. Need uh, What day? Oh, Tuesday. No, incorrect. Wyndham. Go ahead, Greta. 7 a.m. on a Thursday? No, on a Saturday. No. Nah. We have to go with your first answer. It is Saturday. Saturday. You're right. Yeah, unfortunately. Sorry about that. Uh, next question. We'll move on. What monkey species from Borneo gets its common name from a Greek term that refers to its enormous nose? Go ahead, Nate Brunswick. Pabono. Nope, that's incorrect. On to Wyndham. Go ahead, Greta. Proboscis? That is correct, yes. Henry VIII was the eighth English king named Henry. 
but he was only the second king named Henry in which English royal house? Go ahead, Greta. Tudor. Tudor is also right. Mount Elbrus in Russia is the highest peak in which mountain system that stretches from the Black Sea to the Caspian Sea? Thomas Brunswick. Ural. Incorrect. Wyndham. Go ahead, Greta. The Caucasus. The Caucasus is also right. In a medieval epic, Sir Ga Gawain cuts off the head of a mysterious opponent who is known by what colorful alias? Ben Brunswick. The Green Knight. The Green Knight, yes. That is the end of the first round, and we have a score. Brunswick 100 and Wyndham 130. This one is tight. Great start to our quarterfinal rounds. We'll be back to meet the players right after this. We are back, but before we head to the category round, we like to pause and get to know our players with a fun question, which is, imagine you create a new type of currency. What would it be called, and what would it look like? We'll start over here with Brunswick and Ben. All right, so I can't think of a new currency I'd create, but I think it would be interesting if we just got rid of all paper money and we just used coins mm. in the same increment we have, so you'd be paying for something with, like, a whole lot of quarters. <laughs> and then I think I could be, like, Scrooge McDuck and have, like, a pool filled wow. with a lot of coins. And just like, like you've actually really pool. thought this one out really yeah. well. <laughs> that sounds annoying, though, that everyone's got to be walking around with, like, coins and change in their pockets and all that. <laughs> I think it's kind of like a nice little, like, musical accompaniment. It actually may have, yeah, some sort of music theme in there, too. Uh, Thomas, how about yourself? I would uh, propose removing currency altogether and returning to a system of trade and barter. <laughs> <laughs> Maya, yourself? Um, I think I'd have to go with one where every currency is a fraction, so no whole numbers, just because I want to oh see people gosh. suffer. Oh my gosh. Boom! I don't think we could do that. <laughs> that will not work. <laughs> Nate? Uh, I think I'd like go with like the Nate nickel and just get Thomas <laughs> Jefferson off there and just like put me on it. <laughs> and just put you on it. How large is this Nate nickel? Um, I mean, does it fit as like, in your hand or is it huge? Uh, I feel like... <laughs> Well, maybe the size of a regular quarter right now. Okay, all right. Uh, let's let's switch over to Wyndham. Al, how about yourself? I propose we make Todd Gutner coin. It's like oh. Bitcoin, but it's you know cryptocurrency. It's got what? your face right on the. Is coin. it going to crash like all oh. uh, cryptocurrency I mean, has at recently some point, too? <laughs> it'll make you rich. It'll make you rich at first. At, at first, right? <laughs> yeah. It's a scheme. It's a scam. Uh, Greta, your turn. I would just use um, tea. Tea. Like like bags of tea. Okay. I'm already kind of doing that. So <laughs> Do you have some sort of like business associated with she does. Her teammates are shaking their heads. <laughs> okay, you're swindling people with tea oh, bags. Oh no, I'm not swindling. I'm giving <laughs> oh. them freely, but it's kind oh. of a thing at school now. If you're giving something out for tea. free, how does it have like real currency value? Well clearly I'd stop. <laughs> oh we, it's love. We all, we're all gonna owe her someday. This is true. <laughs> we all will. Uh, Caitlin? <laughs> um, I would have the Harley Donian named after my dog, and it would be a silver disc with her face on it. Oh, that's adorable. So, what is the full name of your dog? Harley. Harley. Yes. Okay, and the Harley Donian. Yes. <laughs> that's really cute. Uh, Francesca, wrap this up. I would have the anti Todd Gutner coin T Harley Donian. Actually, no, I want to keep the Harley Donian because Harley's really cute, but I really just want to tick off my teammates. <laughs> I really just want to do that anti often? everything. Oh, all the time. All the time. It's they are also hobby. agreeing and shaking their it's heads. It's my favorite hobby. <laughs> Thank you, both teams. That was a lot of fun. The category round is next, but let's see how well you do with our viewer question of the week. Hi, I'm Alec Omero from Unitil, and this is your Maine Question of the Week. Besides all being born in Maine, what do the following people have in common? Inventor Chester Greenwood, composer R.B. Hall, and Goodwill Ambassador Samantha Smith. We'll have the answer coming up later in the show. We are back, and next up is the category round with the following choices. Like a hurricane, ready for the country, tell me why. This is my best I could do. My, my, hey, hey, after the gold rush, and when you're young. Questions have increasing point values, and wrong answers will cost you. Each team will alternate control of two categories. With each question, they can choose to either answer, skip, or if they don't want to take a chance on a wrong answer, they can, once per category, toss it to the other team and force them to answer. Players will have five seconds to confer and decide what to do. 
Uh, first up for this round will be Brunswick. You're trailing, so you get to choose the category that we start with. Are we go with ready for the country? Yeah. Cool. We'll take ready for the country, Todd. Ready for the country. These are questions about countries of the world. The first velociraptor skull found by paleontologists was in 1923 in the Gobi Desert in what country? Mongolia, right? Sure. Mongolia. Mongolia is right. Ready for the country for 15. Nanaimo bars and poutine are delicious foods that originated in what country? Canada. Canada. Canada, Canada is right. Ready for the country for 20. The planned city of Abuja was designed and built in the 1980s to be the capital of what country that is the most populous in Africa? Nigeria. Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. Nigeria. Nigeria is also right. Ready for the country for 25. The news organization Al Jazeera is based in what Middle Eastern country that hosted the FIFA World Cup in 2022? Qatar. Qatar. Uh, Qatar, yes. That is, we'll, we'll take it, I assume, right? Yes, we'll take it. And ready for the country for 30. The unusual, sometimes colorful buildings designed by the 19th century architect Antony Gaudi can be seen in what country where he was born? Spain. Spain. Spain is also right. You guys swept it. We're going to move over to Wyndham. Let's see how you guys do with your first category. What will it be? We're going to do Tell Me Why. Tell Me Why. You're not going to sing it like uh, the Backstreet Boys or one of the, no? <laughs> All right. Answers that start with why. Okay. First question. Triangular road signs in the U.S. are marked with what Y word that instructs drivers to give other cars the right of way? Yield. Yield is right. Tell me why for 15. What's the common name for the single-celled organisms that convert starch into alcohol and carbon di Yeast. dioxide and cause bread to rise? Yeast. Yeast is also right. Tell me why for 20. The Himalayan creature that some people call the abominable snowman I got that right. That is one tough word to say. <laughs> it's also widely known by what four-letter name that begins with Y? Yeti. Yeti is also right. Tell me why for 25. Used to prepare fuel for nuclear reactors, uranium oxide, or U-308, is a dry powdery substance commonly known by what Y name? I'm thinking yttrium, but I don't know if that's right. No, yttrium is another element. Should, should we go now? Or just get... Should we toss it? Yeah. Mm, yeah. I... Yeah, How much is this? Toss. Toss. Yeah, we're going to toss. You're going to toss. Okay, we're going to force Brunswick to answer. I'll read it first one more time. Used to prepare fuel for nuclear reactors, uranium oxide, or U-308, is a dry, powdery substance commonly known by what Y name? You guys got anything? Yellow powder. Yellow powder. <laughs> Yellow powder? It's actually really close. It's yellow cake. Oh. It's wrong, but it's really close. Good try. Uh, we're back to Wyndham for the 30-point question. From the Japanese words meaning wide rope, what is the name for the highest rank in sumo wrestling? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no ideas. yeah we're going to skip. You want to skip that one? Okay, Yokozuna. Yokozuna, I should say. Yokozuna. Um, we're going to go back to Brunswick, second category for your team. We'll take after the gold rush. After the gold rush for 10. These are questions about the second half of the 19th century. First question. What man from Pennsylvania served as the 15th president of the United States from 1857 until Abraham Lincoln was inaugurated in 1861? James Buchanan. Yes. After the gold rush for 15. In 1867, Alfred Nobel received a patent for what explosive substance made from nitroglycerin with a name that comes from the Greek for power. It's dynamite? No. Yeah. Dynamite? Dynamite, yep. Uh, after the gold rush for 20, Edward Monet, Mary Cassatt, and Claude Monet were part of what artistic movement whose first exhibition took place in Paris in, the 18, in 1874? Impressionism? Yeah. Impressionism? Impressionism is right, yes. Uh, after the gold rush for 25, on September 5th, 1882, people gathered in New York City for the first parade to celebrate what holiday that is now observed in the U.S. on the first Monday in September? Labor Day. Oh, yeah. Labor Day. Labor Day. Labor Day, also right. And the last one in After the Gold Rush. In 1896, Nobel laureate Svante Arrhenius wrote about what phenomenon that he said was connected to carbonic acid in the atmosphere. We want to toss. Krakatoa. I think we should no. toss it. We should toss it. Toss it. Yeah. We're going to toss it. You're going to toss it. Back over to Wyndham, and you're going to make me read this again. Awesome. All right. 
1896, Nobel laureate Sfonte Arrhenius wrote about what phenomenon that he said was connected to carbonic acid in the atmosphere. I think it's Aurora Borealis. We're going to go with Aurora Borealis. Uh, that's incorrect. The answer is climate change. Climate change. All right, we're back to Wyndham. Second category for your team. We're going to go with when you're young. When you're young. These are questions about things that teens have done. Adele released her first album in 2008 and gave it what title? which happened to be her age at the time she wrote it. She's 18 or 19? 17. Or was she 19? Do you want to skip? Yeah. We're going to skip. It's 19. 19. When you're young for 15, Chloe Kim and Red Gerard both were 17 when they won gold medals in what sport at the 2018 Winter Olympics? Snowboarding. 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 Snowboarding is right. When you're young for 20, it was an important moment in labor history when teenage boys went on strike for two weeks in 1899 and refused to sell what product for Joseph Pulitzer and William Randolph Hearst? Newspapers. You got it, newspapers. When you're young for 25, Essie Hinton was 15 when she wrote what teen novel whose main characters are Pony Boy and Soda Pop? The Outsiders. Yeah, The Outsiders. And here's the last one in When You're Young. In 1271, at age 17, what explorer left Venice, traveling with his father and his uncle, on an official mission to visit the Emperor Kublai Khan? Marco, Marco, Polo. Marco 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 Polo. Yes, you nailed it. That is the end of the category round, and we have a score, and it is still so tight. Brunswick 245, Wyndham 235, everything could change in the lightning round, so sit tight, we're right back. Did you figure out what the following people have in common? It was inventor Chester Greenwood, composer R.B. Hall, and Goodwill Ambassador Samantha Smith. The answer is, they all have official commemorative days named after them. Chester Greenwood Day is December 21st, R.B. Hall Day is the last Saturday in June, and Samantha Smith Day is the first Monday in June. Welcome back. This may be the best match of the season, and we're now heading into the final 90 seconds of gameplay, the lightning round. Players, you do not have to wait for me to finish the question. You can buzz in at any time, but you have to wait for me to call on you before you answer. You get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers will cost you 20, and the other team does not get the chance to answer that question. The clock is set. Here comes the lightning round. First question. On August 21st, 1959, which state became the 50th U.S. state? Greta, Wyndham. Hawaii? Yes. A fantasy novel series by C.S. Lewis is called... Uh, ben, Brunswick. Chronicles of Narnia. Narnia, yes. Most adverbs are formed by adding... Uh, Greta, Wyndham. L.Y. L.Y. is right. A certain Christmas song celebrates a bohemian no nobleman known as Good King. Greta again. Once is lost? Yes, you got it. Titan is a satellite of what planet? Uh, Nate, Brunswick. Jupiter. Incorrect. Saturn. A type of bushi, what's the common name for the warrior class of feudal Japan? Uh, Nate Brunswick. Surf. Incorrect. Samurai. In his 2018 song, Lil Nas X says he's going to take what animal to the old... Greta, Wyndham. My horse. Horse, yes. In food labeling, GMO stands for what? Uh, Greta again. Genetically modified organisms. Yes. What man named himself President for Life of Uganda in 19... Greta again. Amin. Amin is correct. Who was Julius Caesar's wife at the time he was assassinated? Uh. Calpurnia. What classical composer wrote the opera The Magic Flute? Greta again. Mozart. Mozart, yes. Bill Sykes is the villain in what novel? Greta. I actually don't know that one. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> It's Oliver Twist, oh, and that's yeah. the end of the lightning round. Wyndham, you still yes. won at 355 <laughs> points. They'll be moving on to the semifinals oh, in a few weeks. Wow. Runner-up Brunswick, 225 points. Great job, great game, great match. Congratulations to both of you. Be sure to tune in next time as Gould Academy takes on John Baps Memorial for quarterfinal number two. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on High School Quiz Show Maine.
Production support for High School Quiz Show Maine is provided by... Energy is about more than just keeping the lights on. It's about living life as parents, friends, and teammates. Unitil is proud to support High School Quiz Show Maine. Unitil, more than a utility, part of your community. Safety Insurance is committed to environmental sustainability and supports many local charities. You can ask an independent agent about auto, home, and business coverage from Safety Insurance. Safety Insurance will help you manage life's storms. And by viewers like you. Thank you.